Welcome as promised on the 23rd of March to the world premiere of the brand new Volkswagen Touareg. I'm Chris, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you're not going to miss any news. I have already reviewed this car as the only one, so this is the only available review now in March 2018 of the Volkswagen Touareg, an in-depth review of the driving with the petrol version and the diesel version and many many of you have already seen this video and today I'm able to show you this car uncovered, fully uncovered from the interior exterior. Of course we're going to start with the exterior and there is a lot to say because many of you has, have left in the comment box that basically it's nothing else than a bigger Tiguan but this is something that I cannot confirm. As you can see it's totally different. So it's bigger yes but also the design is something totally different to the predecessor and of course also to uh, the Volkswagen Tiguan starting with this front part that I was already explaining when the car still used to be covered in my review and now we get the confirmation everything is melted together so the front grille is one unit with the headlights and that makes it look that huge and beautiful from from the front view the bonnet looks really really long due to this vertical finish of the bonnet so that the front grille even looks a bit bigger. What you can see here is a so-called black style package. This is only available for the R-Line that um, makes you having all the accents in black instead of chrome. Also, the inner side of the headlights is black. So black means black. These headlights are matrix LEDs and uh, Volkswagen says they're the brightest on the market and many car makers claim many things but these are really really amazingly bright so if you look into these headlights you almost get blind because they're really really bright and with an additional really sensible feature it's combined with the night vision where you can see a night vision screen in your central dash pedestrians uh, maybe who cross the street in darkness also the headlights just do mark the uh, the pedestrians so they put a light cone around the pedestrians so that you can see them a lot easier and of course even a lot sooner <music> and many, many sensors and cameras for the active cruise control, GPS-based active cruise control. But just check out my video by clicking on top right where I'm explaining and showing everything like the active cruise control with the GPS support. And now the side view of the car, which is also really interesting. And the side view is something where I already said in the review that the roof line looks like a Cherokee SRT8, which is good because it makes the car look a lot sportier. And here you can now finally see it without the covers and uh, the roof line is now totally different so it's not as chunky as the predecessor used to be. It's sportier, it's more elegant um, and the roof line drops a little bit more. It's a soft drop of the roof line, goes here and make, makes it just uh, look a bit like a, a limousine. But of course the size shows you that it's not. And what I love about the exterior design is uh, things like these plays with shadow and light. Shadow and light as we have edges that stay in contrast to each other. So where this edge comes from here and gets bigger and bigger and thicker, this edge to the opposite comes and uh, fades out. So that's a really beautiful play and gives you these light and shadow contrasts that makes the car look a bit more this stealth uh, bomber character where you have many edges. Then we have these rims, you can also get black rims and uh, these are also newly designed, it's uh, 21 inches. Um, in my eyes, if you take the black style, you also have to take the completely black rims. That's my opinion, but here you can see everything black, nothing chrome. This would be my favorite. Now here comes one of the most interesting parts. It's the back view of the new Touareg, where it's a lot more elegant. It's again, not that chunky, just like the predecessor used to be. Uh, yes, it reminds us a bit of um, the Audi Q7, but uh, altogether it's somehow the same family, but still it has its unique style and doesn't look that exaggerated from the back view, more elegant again. The Touareg writing, the back view camera, and here this styling where the tailgate uh, melts together with the rear bumper, so you have a lot bigger surface here, 
as you can see. And that's, again, a styling part of, uh, of the whole car that makes it uh, look more interesting as everything is totally new. Of course, fully LED backlights and these tailpipes, so these exhaust pipes that you can see here, are uh, the petrol versions, uh, exhaust pipes, and um, are just not round like the diesels. Is. They have that square design. I like them more because they're bigger, look more impressive and melt more together with the rest of the car's design instead of these round exhaust pipes that the diesel has. 340 PS uh, petrol version like this that will come as a petrol version and then there is the diesel with the 286 PS but to see everything in detail about this car, about its driving behavior and the engines just click on top right and get forwarded to the in-depth review that I did in Saragossa in Spain with both cars. So I drove the 340 PS uh, petrol version and the 286 uh, PS diesel and it seems that the diesel will be again the favorite car of the clients because the diesel has more torque 600 newton meters to be more exact and a towable mass of 3.5 tons make it the perfect companion for towing boats, towing horses and whatever and then of course uh, the bigger torque is more interesting and less fuel consumption and it's not really slower so just take a look uh, at the review that I did you can also find the link in the description box below for everyone who don't need 286 PS with a diesel there will also be a 231 PS diesel version also a V6 so there's not going to be any four-cylinder and the big punch comes uh, next year in 2019 with a V8 diesel 421 PS and now just listen 900 newton meters so you don't have to hide yourself behind anyone but now first you can enjoy 150 speechless seconds of a walk around So the most interesting about this car is the interior and I have to add Volkswagen doesn't pay me for saying this but I mean how could I say something different take a look at this interior it's so gorgeous it's so overwhelming we have 27 inches 
of screen altogether. As I already said in my review, you can find the link in the description box below. This is the biggest digital landscape of screens. 15 inches here, 12 inches here. And as you can already see, as soon as I get close to the display, uh, it reacts to me. You have so many setting possibilities. I'm going to talk about this now in a few seconds. First, I will show you now all, what I also couldn't show in my in-depth review as I wasn't allowed to show the interior that detailed. This is the Atmosphere package. You have Elegance, Atmosphere and R-Line. And the Atmosphere package says you have colder colors, sportier attitude. So this is aluminium, looks really nice. You can also have this in the Elegance package where you have, just like the name says, more elegance, so wooden trims, for example, instead of aluminium. Now, um, let's see, the only, the only non-digital thing, so the only analog thing that survived is this volume button for the audio system as uh, Volkswagen has uh, <laughs> recognized that the people uh, are looking more for a uh, analog physical button than for something digital but besides this everything is digital now let's check out this beautiful screen you have so many setting possibilities so what you can see here is the center nav you can also have it as one center screen just like this and where else do you get a nav screen with this size and getting back to the home menu so it's like with a cell phone or with a tablet where you can set everything individually just like you want to have it here audio maybe or here the, the, the driving info like fuel consumption average arrival whatever you need if you take two fingers you can swap the menu just like this so swap to the next page to the next individually set set a page just like you did and going back everything with two fingers and with one finger you can swap in between this mode just like um, long term fuel consumption average uh, fuel consumption average right off the start or changing your audio you can see I'm changing from four just from uh, dire straits to four play and uh, Vivaldi so you can set everything you can uh, just change this if you hold this button with your finger just like this it turns and you can get something else just like maybe traffic info and it, get back, it's, it gets back so it changes from audio to uh, to the menu to the menu option that you wanted to have and uh, you can also have uh, the interior lights a different way so if you take a look at this beautiful trim underlined by this blue accent that looks so amazing and the nice thing is that if you uh, have blue purple yellow or whatever you'd like to have that also continues in the display so then the display has the same color just like this light accent has I would need hours to explain everything and also to discover everything but you can also set the menu points here so if you don't need the telephone here if you'd like to have maybe radio here you just have to hold on this button put it here and immediately you have the radio in this shortcut menu here above. And of course, also, now you can uh, have a full screen nav 
or you can choose between the instrument and the nav in the center part and as you can see it's really huge you can also hear set um, rest range nav audio whatever you'd like to have you can have it here so uh, the uh, individual setting possibilities is the main focus of the designers and uh, everyone who did that uh, really innovative navigation where you have so many setting possibilities it's totally different to the predecessor and especially totally different to the Tiguan where just I can repeat it many said yeah it's uh, just say nothing else in the bigger Tiguan so it's a totally new and totally different world that expects you here and of course a new level of luxury if you take uh, a look at that um, that uh, play between lights and materials and everything so you can see also the wooden trims that I filmed as well as um, these aluminium trims and the different packages so there is so much expecting you even in the doors with these little um, yeah little different color accents uh, that I can't even explain how nice this looks like and these seats in that atmosphere package and uh, final uh, thing to check out is the back seats here as it's also interesting because one of you asked me or many people also in the comment box and via mail uh, to check out how many isofix uh, points we do have because some one of you has uh, three children so we do have two here for fixing one child seat and two here for fixing one child seat um, we do not have a third possibility it's uh, also that thing with the third seat row where many rumors were just um, flying around in uh, on the internet that said that there's going to be a third seat row but there is no third seat row only with the Volkswagen Atlas which is uh, for the US market here you have two child seat uh, setting possibilities and take a look at this uh, where else do you have something like this that's what I'm asking you for your laptop or whatever you'd like to use and of course also USB slots and uh, an additional air conditioning unit for the passengers sitting on the back seats in this case we do not have a sunroof but the sunroof is again something what I definitely recommend you to take from the option list so well I'm sitting here behind myself just uh, take a look at the knee room that's a fully valuable family SUV with a boot space of 810 liters now also got a lot bigger now compared to the predecessors so the Volkswagen Touareg is definitely really convincing from the interior it's an amazing piece of design and now enjoy some interior impressions subscribe to my channel by clicking on the Carmania logo on the bottom right and leave me thumbs up if you like the video Thank you for having watched Carmania.